This is my view right now. This is crazy. I'm like, oh my god. This is gonna be sold out. So someone had to sing way up. <laughs> My brother, Mr. Dusty Hunter. Yeah! To his left, our lead singer. He's our youngest brother. We call him the leftovers. <laughs> or the old egg. My brother, Mr. Ty Hunter. Yeah! Thank you. Right to his left, playing the bass guitar, singing the low harmony. He's got a million dollar smile. My brother, Mr. Luke Hunter. Is left on the end playing the electric guitar. Is Actually, my Jay, thanks, I appreciate that. I got it from here. <laughs> oh. Hi, everybody. Hi. 
My name is Brock, and uh, Jaden said four of the five of us are married. Well, I'm the only one who is not married. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, but seeing as I'm the only one not married, JJ, I can actually speak for myself. Thank you. Now you all know why he is not married. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I'm single, come on! My life is simple but now it's just living for me. Didn't know what was missing, drumming to my own beat. But if life is a song, well, it's a song when there's no harmony. Then you came along and you showed me how good it can be. So strong makes you weak in the knees when she smiles. Yeah, you do anything, lay down your life in the blink of an eye. Cause no matter the cost, you know you'd walk through fire for her when you love a girl. back home after this tour and we're going to be hopping into uh, the tractor couch to put seed in the ground and uh, <laughs> so it's, it's a crazy life let me tell you but um, yeah this is really the song that changed the course of our career thank you to you and to country music radio for believing in us we appreciate it more than words can express so yeah. who here was born and raised in Ontario Our sister in
step on the radio station.
that's just the way this old world hurts. Moments to have, mixed with moments of hurt. I'll be waiting till we are together again. Everything's falling apart right now. With all of the hope that our faith in life. Trying to figure out what I was going to do next. Um, I, I'd been with a record company for a while. Things weren't working out all that well, and uh, you know they, they they wanted to try and get me to sing some uh, one song in particular that I just wasn't really into. And I don't know if you guys are the same out here in Ontario as we are in Alberta, but I don't really want people to tell me what to do. So, you know, things changed and I was able to kind of get out of that, but then I was kind of stuck without a record deal and I wasn't sure what I was going to do next. And it was, a, it was a pretty stressful time and uh, I'm going to be honest, I had a lot of fear and anxiety about what was going to happen next. And then I just started, oh hi. Aww. Don't lean over too far. Um, I just, you know, I started thinking about what am I doing here? What am I doing here in this life? And uh, I, I guess for me, you know, it took a lot of praying and thinking about it, and, and uh, I just figured I needed to just go out and do what God made me to do and just sing for people and give her. So I decided to do that. And yeah. uh, we, put this, uh, we put this project together. We went and played small towns across the country. We went to play places that nobody really usually goes. We played Flin Flon, Manitoba. Uh, <laughs> we, played, uh, we played Thompson. Thompson. Someone from Thompson. We'll, we'll probably never go to Thompson again. <laughs> they were really nice. They were sweet, but uh, it was 55 below zero. <laughs> we were in a we were in a, a skating rink in a hockey arena, and they had the radiant heat around the edges, you know. But we were in the middle, <laughs> and they didn't have enough plywood to cover up the ice. And uh, we we had these lava lamps on stage as a part of our set. They stayed frozen through the whole show. <laughs> And uh, we were really hoping to get a great live reaction, you know, because we were recording this album live and, uh, and hoping for, you know, great applause. And at the end of every single song <laughs> in Thompson, all you could hear was thump, 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 thump. Because <laughs> they're literally all wearing mittens inside, you know? And, uh, and we took off from there. We went across northern Saskatchewan. If you've ever been on the, the road um, to cross northern Saskatchewan to go to Fort McMurray in the middle of winter, it's maintained, it's maintained by a gentleman with a broken tractor. Oh. And uh, I'm not kidding, our shocks froze. I woke up three feet in the air and landed, and the bus was done there for a bit. And this guy pulls up in this, this big truck and says, we fix anything on the side. And he walks over and looks underneath. I'm in a big hurry, early in the morning. And I swear I saw dollar signs in his eyes. And he says, looks like you guys got a problem. <laughs> oh, no. We're never getting out of here. And he climbed under there, 50 below. He fixed our bus. And I went to pay him after. He wouldn't take any money. He's a big country music fan, and he just wanted to do it for us. So that's cool. He said, you know, there, there is one thing, though. There's one thing. Uh, I'd like it if you would take a picture with, with, with my horse. So there, there is a picture out there with me in my pajamas and my hat. With my arm around his horse, you know. So, you know, I... I um, I wrote this song and we decided to go and record this live project. It was coming off of a million albums sold. And we, we started to pre-sell this album and at the end of the tour I only sold a thousand copies. Oh. I thought I was done. <laughs> See, I told you, they're, they're crazy. I told you. Um, but then a bunch of stuff that shouldn't have happened started to happen. I, I got asked to host the Canadian Country Music Awards that year as an unsigned artist. Yeah. They played a live acoustic record. They never do that, and they did. And uh, you know, they broadcast that show in in the states. They broadcast it in Australia, in Canada. They've never done that since. And as I'm packing up my guitar after playing the song, they called my name for album of the year. And I'll tell you, I 
don't generally, I don't generally hear voices, but it's probably as close as I've ever heard to God speaking to me. He's like, yeah, you just get out of the way and do what I made you to do and everything's going to work out, okay? And, um, yeah. you know, I will never be able to thank you guys enough for being there when you showed up for me in that way. Thank you so, so much. So um, uh, we, were, we were driving along and uh, we put chains on our bus, the crew bus didn't have chains and so it's slipping and sliding. I look ahead, there's all these lights up there and they were filming that Discovery Channel show, Highway Through Hell. <laughs> no! Guess who's gonna be on Highway Through Hell? <laughs> this Canadian didn't know that the Coquihalla Highway is very difficult to cross in the winter time. Can't wait. But um, we made it, you know, everything worked out okay. You might have seen the video a little bit earlier, you know, our, our crew guys filming the whole thing and us getting pulled up, up, up the mountain by that little uh, Ford F-550 tow truck. That was kind of cool. And, um, you know, we've been talking a lot about our, our commonalities and our upbringing. Um, there's a lot, like they're from Shaunavan, Saskatchewan. I'm from Calgary, Alberta. And we you know, kind of prairie boys and all that whole thing. And, uh, and we have a lot in common. We were raised by wolves, and um, yeah, that's, that's wrong. I, I, um, we, uh, we grew up going to church. Anyone else grow up going to church a little bit around here? So we would sing songs like, How Great Thou Art, and The Old Rugged Cross, and Jesus Loves Me, and all this stuff. And, and it was a really great way to grow up. Really enjoyed it. And uh, so I was thinking, maybe we could do a song that we grew up singing, and I was thinking about that mountain trip and how these journeys, you never really know how they're going to turn out. Every single one of our buses has broken down at some point on this tour. Um, and this song is all about a train ride and an engineer who knows exactly how it's all going to turn out. So we'd love to do this for you right now. We're going we're to take you to church, if that's okay, just for a moment. Yeah. In God's praise forevermore. Oh, you're allowed to clap in this church. It's quite all right now. Come on. That's it.
looks in it. Hobbs is starting to close up. My sinus is first. He sinks. You better back off another ten.
All right, that's good, thanks. All right, so I'm the last one to leave, and the Tyson's not fucking here. This is great. The show is amazing. Oh my god, I didn't get to just meet him, but he noticed me twice, which was great. My voice is so gone. So yeah, I was like, oh, I'll just wait longer. What if he appears and he did it? And then some people went backstage and not me, and I'm like, okay. So that happened. And there was like two taxis that came in, and none of them picked me up. So I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna stay on my own for now. <laughs> Yeah, hold on. He just asked where I was going. So, yeah. Nope, that's not mine. Alright, crap. I'm just waiting. Oh yeah, for sure. It was amazing. Oh, middle one is open. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Everyone forgot their phones. Oh my god. I was on my feet the whole fucking time. Sorry, I swear. Uh, Hunter Brothers were amazing. It just was amazing. Paul was just like, so amazing. Um, Paul is just exactly how I pictured him. Like, sincere, genuine guy. It was fun. And he noticed me during ID, which was so cute. I didn't get to touch him or hug him, but I was just like, hey, I saw you. So yeah. Um, I, tried, I tried to change, create my hat. Oh. With Paul Brandt. I was sitting at the back, eh? Oh, yeah. And uh, I couldn't even get to the front. They wouldn't let me go. Oh, no. <laughs> my birthday tomorrow, so I figured, oh, oh I'll trade to... my hat, not this one. But anyways, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that didn't work. Better luck next time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I found my phone. Oh, that's good. <laughs> at least. <laughs> Thanks, you too. Hmm, very nice guy. The taxis in Turkey are fucking terrible. So yeah, my video got caught off because I had an alarm. So I sent a message to my mom and I'm still not home, so I'm just waiting. Oh well. I do arrive at 11. I'm waiting, for, I'm waiting for my taxi. Get in here. I mean, it's cold out here. Not as cold as last week, though. <laughs>